My name is Taryn Champagne and I represent myself. Impotent, feckless, ineffectual, and flaccid are how I would describe the worthless State Commission on Judicial Conduct, which continues to consume tex Texas taxpayer funding while providing no benefit to the general public. This is my third time speaking before the board since 2018. I think a perfect example of this ineffectiveness of the board is the statement that we cannot record this hearing. Once again, Section 551.023 of the Texas Open Meetings Act. A person in attendance may record all or any part of an open meeting of a governmental body by means of a recorder, video camera, or other means of oral or visual representation. You said we couldn't. I feel the record should be corrected on that. This agency, staffed by a meager 12 employees, is either unequipped or unwilling to do anything to accomplish their mission of serving as a check against rogue judges who actively harm the public. The budget, as laid out in the General Appropriations Act, shows a paltry $1,485,935 appropriate for the solemn duty of a court holding our judiciary accountable. Of those staff on there, there's only four investigators. Four investigators seem hardly adequate to handle the 925 cases that were filed in fiscal year 23, not including those cases pending at the beginning of the year. It's odd that the agency even has investigators, as it appears the investigators do very little in actual investigations. With my own complaints, those others have filed, and certainly others testifying today, I cannot recall ever hearing where an investigator actually contacted a witness. Is this or is this not part of their scope of duties while doing an investigation? Your annual report seems to show a reduction in the number of cases filed, having reached a peak in 22 at 1,764 and declining precipitously to 925. Have our judges gotten more honest due to the SCJC being effective? No. The SCJC has in fact removed the ability to submit complaints electronically. Noted clearly on their website is that they do not accept complaints via online forms, telephone, email, or fax. We live in a digital age and despite previously accepting complaints online, they've removed this functionality. If this commission seeks reform, then they need to work to restore the public's trust by actually performing their functions and investigating judges in violation of judicial ethics. This actually involves contacting witnesses, providing greater ease of access by which individuals can submit complaints and supporting evidence, and do more than holding this biennial meeting and doing nothing. I've requested notes and memorandums from this commission summarizing these meetings, and I've always gotten the same response. There are no records responsive to this request. While this commission is not doing anything, I don't think they will. Fortunately for the public, there is the Sunset Commission, which will review this board in 28 and 29. While last time the Sunset Commission may have had little access to SCJC documentation, I can assure you that next time individuals like myself will be more than happy to provide the Commission our documentation from our complaints that you all fail to do. I urge you to restore public trust in our judiciary instead of punting it to the next SCJC committee members as a standard practice. Thank you, sir.